Temperature control is of vital importance in the aluminum extrusion process. Why is aluminum extrusion so sensitive to temperature? During the extrusion process, the temperature directly affects the deformation resistance of the material. Increasing the temperature can reduce the deformation resistance of materials, thereby reducing the extrusion force and improving production efficiency. However, excessively high temperatures can lead to hot brittleness in materials, causing defects such as cracks. In order to both reduce the deformation resistance and adopt a larger extrusion speed, it is necessary to select the temperature at which the metal plasticity is the best. The upper limit of the heating temperature for aluminum rods should be lower than the eutectic melting temperature of the alloy's low melting point, and the lower limit should be higher than the temperature corresponding to the junction point of the alloy and the solution line. Take 6063 aluminum alloy as an example. The heating temperature should be between 460 and 510 degrees. The preheating temperature of the mold should match the temperature of the aluminum bar. Taking 6063 aluminum as an example, the temperature for the flat mold should be 400 to 450, and for the distribution mold, it should be 430 to 480. The heating of the shot sleeve can ensure that the aluminum ingots reach a uniform temperature before entering the mold, thereby improving the fluidity and plasticity of the aluminum material and reducing the extrusion force and friction. Take 6063 aluminum rod as an example. Its temperature should be maintained between 380 and 450 degrees. Liangyin, aluminum COLTD, has rich experience in the field of aluminum extrusion. If you encounter problems with temperature control and operation, you are also welcome to show us in the comment section.